For 4,000 years, these dramatic volcanic formations have housed hand-dug tunnels and chambers. Underground networks store food, shelter animals. They've been churches, monasteries, and natural fortresses. In the 15th and 16th centuries, the Byzantine army used the tallest of these formations, like the Yushasar Castle, as an early warning system. With fire and mirrors, messages were sent from high top to high top, as far as Istanbul. Well, we're climbing the hill. We're going to look at the fairy chimneys when we get to the other side. I understand there's a really nice development of them there. Early Christians found refuge in this area of Goremi. The tunnels to the underground structures could be completely sealed off by huge stones. It's uh, very unusual. It's uh, uh, unique in all the world. I've never seen anything quite like it. I have seen volcanic land before, but very different from this. The rocks themselves are impressive, but the interaction of humans and how those spaces were used for worship and study and gathering and, and building community, it's a, it's a fascinating story altogether. In the foreground, in the valley beneath us, there is already several fairy chimney formations came into being. Those single standing formations are called as... We are going to explore some cave churches here. We are going to learn about the early Christianity. Inside the church of St. Barbara, the early Christian monks drew a depiction of Christ on the throne, as well as lines on the rocks to give the impression that cut stones were used in the construction. Cappadocia, I mean, there's nothing like that anywhere in the world I've been, and it's just, uh, it's just a stunning place. This traditional flatbread is called markuk. It is baked for two to three minutes on a domed or convex metal griddle, known as a saj. It's almost as good as I am. Thank you.